Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do my July favorites for you guys. I know it is like so late into August. It's like, what's today? Like the, I don't even know what today is. It is the fifth. Um, I know I wanted to do this last week and I totally like slacked and didn't even get this done. Um, cause I know I had posted on Twitter that I was going to film it and I was getting ready to, I got all my stuff together and I don't even remember what happened. Something happened where I didn't film. So here is my, uh, July favorites. And as you guys know from my past favorites and fails videos, um, some things I have been using the whole month, other things I have not. It's just when I go shopping. I tend to go shopping like the middle of the month. So I don't fully use a lot of the products like the whole entire month. But these are the products I have been using in July and I absolutely love. So let's start off with, and I might not even get through all of them because I have a lot. So the first thing I'm just going to grab, first thing here is, um, Hang 10 Dark Tanning Oil, and this is the Hang 10, um, Classic Sport SPF 50. I got these both in an Ipsy bag. I believe this was last month's Ipsy, and this was the month before, and I absolutely love these. I actually keep them in my pocketbook, um, because living by the beach, you never know um, when you're just going to drop off by the beach. So um, I've been keeping them in my pocketbook. And because I have, I also have a convertible. So this is great for when the kids are with me and they want to put the top down, but they don't have sunscreen on. And I'm like a big thing with sunscreen on my kids. Um, so I keep this in my purse and I also have like little towelettes that I keep in my car um, for them. So, and this, this actually came in handy, um, a couple weeks ago when my husband needed it because he got a new tattoo and then the other side, he was going to get a tattoo and he was out in the sun. So I put this on, um, where he was going to get his other tattoo so it didn't burn his skin. Um, and it worked great. It came in handy. So those two I have been loving. Um, the next thing is my palette that I have been going to all month. I have been loving it. It is the, char the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I know this is like so old. Everybody got theirs like so long ago. But I just recently got mine. And I have been using this like every single day. This is the palette that I use and here are the colors if you guys just in case somebody has not seen them um these are the colors and yes that is from me i dug my fingernail in if you guys saw that video you know what i'm talking about um the only thing with mine is it doesn't smell like chocolate like it did when i first opened it and now it like really doesn't smell like chocolate. So I don't know. And I keep forgetting to ask the girl at Ulta. Um, and Lindsay, if you're watching this, let me know if I'm just losing my mind or whatever. Cause I know you probably know, cause you have one too. Um, so if you have this palette, let me know if yours still smells like chocolate because mine does not. So I don't know if maybe mine is just an old palette, like one of the first in the batch that came out and it just, it doesn't smell because I went to Ulta and I smelled theirs and theirs smells like chocolate still. And mine does not. So I don't know if maybe they spray something on it daily to make it smell. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. So anyways, but this is my favorite palette. I do have the colors on today. I've been using them every day. So if you look in my videos, most likely I am wearing this palette. Um, and I just love it. So that is that. My bronzer for this month has been this one. It's the Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. Um, mine is an O2 Fake Tan. And this is what it looks like. I absolutely love it. So this is the bronzing color here. And this is more like um, a lighter highlight color. Um, but what I tend to do is I contour right here with this color and then um the highlight right here is this color and then sometimes i swirl it, swirl it around and do a round and down my neck and everything else so um it's coming off kind of crazy in the this lighting um and my face is kind of coming off blotchy but it's really not so um maybe if i sat a little closer to the light it will be better um so that is that um 
bronzer right there. For lips this month, I do have this on right now. I have been loving this, and I just went to Ulta the other day to get more colors, and the colors that I wanted, they didn't have any more. They just had the testers, so um, I didn't get any more of these. This is in Snowcap. I talked about this before, I think in a haul video. And this has, like, been my go-to lipstick all month, and that is what it looks like. It's kind of like um, a peachy nude color, and I absolutely love it. I do have it on right now, and, um, yeah, so that is it. I've been going to the, um, just about every time I put any kind of lip product on, I, it's been this, so I love that. Um, the next thing is the toothpaste I have been loving. I actually... Um, this one I've talked about before. It is the Radiant Mint in 3D Crest, Crest 3D White. And I keep wanting to try the other one, the red one. I think it's Optic, Optic White. And just every time I end up grabbing this one and I come home and I was like, oh, that's the same one. I keep get, forgetting it's the red one. Um, so I got that one, and we've been using this a lot. So um, this removes up to 80% of surface stains. And then I got this one. This is the Glamorous White. It's the same brand, um, 3D White Luxe. And then Glamorous White is this color. I have been loving this one. Um, so... This one says it removes up to 90% of surface stains in five days. And this one just says removes up to 80% of surface stains. So it doesn't give like a time period, but this one does. So um, check that out if you are into whitening your teeth and stuff like that. So I've been loving it. Um, the next thing is this um, Dial Body Wash I have been using and I absolutely love it. Um, this is the frozen yogurt Froyo um, with yogurt protein, and it's a cooling body wash. So this is perfect for like um, if you've been in the sun all day, or just to have it's hot out and you just want to take a shower, and um, it gives you like a cooling sensation on your skin. And I love the way it smells. It so smells like Froyo, like fruit and yogurt and yumminess, and I. I absolutely love that. So, um, next time you're in the store, check that out. Um, take a whiff of it before you buy it in case you don't like that kind of scent. Um, but I love the cooling effect of it. Um, and the next couple things I have been using makeup-wise are um, the NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer. I absolutely love this. Um, I do the under eyes and then any boo-boos that I have for that month. And I have been loving this. It is um, waterproof, and I love it. Um, the next combination I have been loving together is for my mascara. This is the Miss Manga. Um, it's voluminous mascara, pretty self-explanatory. Everybody's been using this and raving about it. It's awesome. If you have not tried this out yet, try it out. You will love it. Um, this is in the Blackest Black. And I absolutely love this. I will be buying more of these. And then this I got in, um, I believe, an Ipsy. And this is uh, by Pure. Big Look Waterproof Mascara with Argon Oil. I have been loving this. And this is the combination that I've been using. So I do two coats with this. And then, so I curl my lashes. Two coats with this. And then one coat with this over. And it is a phenomenal combination together. Um, I have not used this alone yet. Um, I don't know. I just haven't. I don't know why. Um, but these two together I love and I do have them on today so you can see. Um, that's what my lashes look like and um, yeah so I'm trying to look at the monitor and not <laughs> into the camera. So I love these. Um, and what else do I have up here for goodies? This I talked about before. These are the Equate Makeup Remover Towelettes. Um, because I have been using a lot of the waterproof mascara and makeup and um, stuff, this takes my makeup off wonderfully at night. And this is compared to the Neutrogena ones, but it's the Equate brand. I've talked about those before. I'm back on those. Um, and there was, oh yeah, 
So then um, this is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. Um, I did this a haul on this. I have been loving this. I have it on now. It works wonderful. Um, I forgot the price of this, but you can check it out at NYX.com or um, I hear kids or at um, Ulta. I don't know if they carry this anywhere else. I checked my local Target because I heard Target was going to start carrying NYX products. And my Target is like a really big fancy Target and they carry so much other stuff except for NYX products. So I don't know if I'm like losing my mind or what, but, um, but I did get this online and I love it. Mine is in blonde and I do have it on. I wear this every day. I absolutely love it. It is waterproof because uh, what I do is I put a little dot here and then I dip into it with my brush and put it on and then right there I literally have to scrub with soap and water to get that off so and then this is the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 um, cream eyeshadow I have it on right now as my base and that's the color that it is and I absolutely love this stuff when I am out of this I am getting more of these colors because I absolutely love them. Um, sometimes I wear it alone and other times I use it as a base and then just um, dab a similar color over it just to keep it more on and I love it. Um, so I think that is it for all my favorites for the month of July. Now on to my fail. I have one fail and it's only, I don't know why because um, it's supposed to work, but it doesn't. Um, so I got this because of where we live. Um, and it's been raining a lot. As soon as the sun goes down, the mosquitoes come out everywhere because we have, um, if you live in the South, you know what I'm talking about. We don't have sewers here. Like we do, we used to up North. Um, and so what we have are ditches in front of our house and all on the long side this way. And then in the back of our house, we have ditches and they fill with water. Um, and that's where your water is kept, um, as a sewer, um, like a drainage system. And, um, you're supposed to treat them with stuff to keep the mosquitoes away and all that. And if we're sitting out, even during the day, if you're sitting out, there are gnats and bugs and stuff. So I like stock up on mosquito spray, spray, spray. And so I got this for my kids. It came in a three pack and I thought it would work great. It was on sale at Walmart and it doesn't work at all. It like attracts the bugs more by having this on. So we do not use this anymore. So that is like a complete fail. I don't know why. I'm going to go back to my regular stuff. I get the off um, Deep Woods one, and that one works phenomenal. This one, on the other hand, didn't work for freaking crap. Um, so that was just like a waste of, I think it was like six bucks for the three pack or something. But it does not work one bit. Like, the, I spray myself and spray the kids and spray everything around me, and I get swarmed. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's me. The kids do it, too. So, I don't know. I don't. It doesn't work for me. So, that is my fail for this month. That is my July favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye, guys.